Okay, there's two nesting sites in the front pod. You can see this set of eggs here. Right? Right there. And then in this one, this set of eggs over here. Look how many there are. So the front pods are functional system. I'm going to put a barrier right here to divide the tank. Uh, unfortunately, oh, six fish are going to live over here. I'm going to remove the male, the, um, the big black male, because uh, I really only want the pink males to be breeding. And I kind of, you know, I was in a rush, so I let the males, the black male, come in and he did his job. I mean, seriously, the pink males did nothing. They sat around and, you know, farted around and chased the women, and they did nothing. Lazy. And then the black guy got in there. <laughs> no offense. That really came out wrong. The black convict cichlid came in there, and boom, knocked him up. Two cents. Boom. Killer. <laughs> That sounds so racist. But yes, the black male did his job. Unfortunately, the uh, the two uh, pink males who are uh, very, very afraid right now, they're hiding. Because <laughs> that dude is going to, look at him, crush her. Look at him back there. Look at him. That's crush her. He's doing his job. He's about to set this one up under here and set another one up right there. He's, he's, you can see he's guarding this area real hard. So, he probably already has a set of eggs down there. I just can't see it. But, yeah, he's doing his thing, man. And she's minding the fence, too, over here. So, the one that just went behind a rock. So, obviously, he's either setting her up for to breed over there or has already set her up. And there's another convict living under here in which seldom ever comes out. And I was wondering whether or not he already set that up earlier, even before these two. So, come on. Crusher. The bad boy. But I'm about to put him into population again and uh, see if I can get the pink convicts to do something. They're so lazy. So that's what's up. I can't even see the other pink convict. I mean, I know he's here, but he must be really, really scared. Let's see. Yep, there he is. Right up there against the wall. Oh no. That was a reflection. Oops. <laughs> That's a PVC pipe. So no, I still don't see him. Might be under here. No. He's not hiding in this one, is he? Nope, don't see him. There he is. It's up that way. So both of them are here. Alright, cool. So I'm going to see if they can, you know, get spring into action, do something. Stop being punks. And again, I'm so excited to see the prop roots uh, develop in the fresh water for the mangroves. These are white mangroves. Uh, I mean, this is amazing. So I'm going to have one in each tank until they start growing out real good. And then I'm going to put, uh, once they start growing out real good, I'm going to put them in buckets and put them in the backyard and start producing the seeds and keep one major one in the big tank. Can you zoom out and see the full tank? This is a big tank. 200 gallon octagon. And I got the lights working, but I turned them off. I haven't put them on, put them on once. I'll record that later for you guys. It's a beautiful light. I mean... Super bright blue. Brighter than that. So yeah, that's what's up. Everything's just squeaking along. I have an order of koi coming in this week. I have an order of sturgeon coming in on Saturday, uh, Thursday. Not sure what I'm going to do with the sturgeon, but obviously the koi is going upon. And, um... After all that, I'm going to place my order for glowfish and various other oddballs. 
and then start selling. So thanks for keeping up. Everything's just moving along. Work. Well, no, it's fish farm.